The summary of The Charisma Myth, brought to you by Click Through College. The Charisma Myth How Anyone Can Master the Art and Science of Personal Magnetism, by Olivia Fox Cobain, seeks to dispel the myth that charisma is a born trait, proving instead that it's a skill anyone can learn. The book is a practical guide that provides actionable advice and techniques, dividing charisma into three key components presence, power, and warmth. Chapter 1 Understanding Charisma The Charisma Myth How Anyone Can Master the Art and Science of Personal Magnetism commences with a pivotal question What is charisma? Olivia Fox Cobain meticulously debunks the stereotypical definitions of charisma that emphasize physical attractiveness, high social status, or an alluring aura that some individuals naturally possess. Instead, she argues that charisma is about influencing and deeply connecting with others. Cobain positions charisma not as an inborn, mystical quality, but as a skill that anyone can learn and improve. She emphasizes that charisma is not elusive. It is merely misunderstood. Thus, by shedding light on its true nature, anyone willing to learn and apply the techniques can become more charismatic. Chapter 2 The Charisma Components Presence, Power, and Warmth. Cobain delves into the anatomy of charisma, breaking it down into three fundamental components presence, power, and warmth. She defines presence as the ability to be fully engaged in the current moment. Exhibiting mindfulness and displaying undivided attention towards the person you're interacting with. Power is defined as the ability to influence the world around you, often conveyed through one's status, expertise, or demeanor. Lastly, warmth refers to the goodwill and benevolence that charismatic individuals project onto others. Cobain asserts that the harmonious blend of these elements creates a magnetic personality that attracts others. Chapter 3 The Role of Body Language This chapter explores the profound influence of body language on perceptions of charisma. Body language, according to Cobain, communicates our emotions, attitudes, and even our intentions much more vividly than our words. Charismatic individuals use body language effectively to express openness, relaxation, and confidence. Nonverbal cues such as eye contact, facial expressions, and postures can have a substantial impact on how others perceive us. Cobain provides practical exercises for readers to improve their body language and become more mindful of their non verbal cues. This, in turn, can enhance their charismatic appeal. Chapter 4 Overcoming Internal Obstacles Charisma, like any other skill, can be hindered by internal obstacles. Cobain identifies common impediments like low self confidence, stress, and negative self talk that can obstruct one's charismatic potential. Rather than ignoring these barriers, she encourages readers to confront and overcome them using various strategies and techniques. The chapter discusses the power of visualization, where readers imagine themselves successfully exhibiting charismatic behavior. It also introduces the concept of positive affirmations to counter negative self talk and boost self confidence. Additionally, Cobain introduces mindfulness techniques to manage stress and anxiety effectively. Thus, creating a mental landscape conducive to charisma. Hash 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 chapter 5. Charismatic mental states. In this chapter, Cobain emphasizes the impact of one's mental state on their charismatic appeal. She asserts that charismatic individuals tend to maintain positive mental states, resulting in a positive influence on others. By cultivating these states, individuals can make others feel valued and comfortable in their presence. The chapter explores various charismatic mental states, such as feelings of gratitude, goodwill, and compassion. Cobain provides practical exercises to foster these states, helping readers develop a mindset that naturally radiates charisma. Hash 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 chapter 6 Charisma in Conversation The power of charisma shines through in conversations. Cobain illustrates how charismatic individuals use conversations as a platform to show genuine interest in others, making them feel heard and appreciated. She introduces techniques for active listening, such as providing verbal affirmations and asking thoughtful questions, which demonstrate engagement and foster deeper connections. The chapter underscores the significance of feedback and the skill of delivering it in a manner that bolsters others' self esteem. Cabin's techniques equip readers to turn ordinary conversations into charismatic encounters, thus enhancing their influence and personal appeal. 
Chapter 7. Charismatic First Impressions. First impressions matter immensely, and in this chapter, Cobain details how to make them count. She emphasizes that the initial moments of interaction often set the tone for the entire relationship. Cobain outlines how to create a powerful first impression, starting with making a confident entrance, ensuring your body language is open and inviting, and delivering a strong and engaging self-introduction. She advises on choosing conversation starters that are engaging and show genuine interest in the other person. The chapter underlines the importance of synchrony between verbal and non-verbal cues to appear authentic and trustworthy. Through these strategies, readers can create an impactful first impression, paving the way for effective, charismatic communication. Chapter 8. Charisma in Difficult Situations. Cobain acknowledges that difficult situations pose challenges to one's charismatic demeanor. In such scenarios, it's essential to maintain composure and exude confidence. She provides strategies to manage conflict, such as showing empathy, taking responsibility, and focusing on problem-solving rather than blame. The chapter also includes methods to handle criticism constructively and deliver tough messages in a way that respects the other person's feelings. By mastering these techniques, readers can navigate challenging situations with grace and charisma, turning potential roadblocks into opportunities for growth and relationship building. Chapter 9. Charismatic Leadership. This chapter examines charismatic leadership and its role in motivating and inspiring others. Cobain elucidates that charismatic leaders leverage their personal magnetism to drive their team towards a shared vision. She discusses essential components of charismatic leadership, such as communicating authentically, acknowledging and appreciating individual contributions, and leading by example. The chapter also emphasizes the importance of resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks and maintain morale amidst adversity. Cabin's insights offer valuable lessons for current and aspiring leaders, equipping them with the tools to harness their charisma to inspire their team, foster a positive environment, and achieve collective goals. Hash 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 chapter 10. Building Charismatic Habits. In the 10th chapter, Cobain discusses the importance of transforming the techniques provided in the book into habits. She emphasizes that being charismatic isn't a one-time effort, but a long-term commitment requiring consistent practice. She provides practical tips on how to integrate these techniques into daily life, such as setting small, achievable goals, rewarding oneself for progress, and gradually building on these successes. By reinforcing these actions through repetition, they can become second nature, enhancing charisma in a sustainable and enduring way. Chapter 11. Charisma in Crisis. Every person encounters crises, and how one handles them is a true testament to their charisma. Cobain advises on maintaining charisma in such situations by demonstrating grace under pressure. She recommends staying composed, showing empathy to those affected, and taking responsibility where appropriate. Moreover, she stresses on the importance of transparent communication in times of crisis. By mastering the art of turning crises into opportunities for demonstrating strength and leadership, one can maintain charisma even during challenging times. Chapter 12. Charisma Maintenance Over Time. The final chapter provides strategies for maintaining charisma over the long term. Cobain underscores the need for continuous practice and lifelong learning to keep charisma skills sharp. She suggests revisiting the techniques provided in the book, adapting them to different situations, and remaining open to feedback. Moreover, she emphasizes the role of self-care in maintaining charisma, as physical health and emotional well-being are integral to personal magnetism. With these insights, readers can ensure their charisma remains vibrant and influential, long after the final page of the book is turned. In conclusion, the charisma myth equips readers with a deep understanding of what charisma really is, and more importantly, how to develop it. By breaking down charisma into learnable components, Cobain empowers anyone to enhance their personal magnetism and build better, more influential relationships. The summary of the charisma myth.